be an effective artist, you need an imagination and a certain confidence that is unaffected by the vicissitudes, the ups and downs of the external processing of being an artist. You know, you start doing this thing because you love it, and then the experience of touring, putting music out, using social media to reach people, time zone changes, lack of sleep, all of those things can just leave you so jaded, and it's really hard to, like, maintain a concentrated imagination and be able to, the second the show starts, or the second you're back in the studio, unlearn all of this stuff. The whole experience started feeling so tiring that I was considering the alternatives of doing doing it. Even just life was weighing me down in a way that I was exploring the alternatives of living. And so from there, it was an incredibly liberating thing to realize that when you get that existential with it, there's nothing that you're holding on to that isn't worth letting go of. Life is really important. Giving people this space that I've worked so hard to build, I've put so much time and energy into making grandson fucking awesome. And for me to consider throwing that away, it's just not worth it. So it's led me to hold on to things a little less tightly and be more willing to, you know, just kind of start all over again. We're having this conversation at a time where I'm like really in the motions of doing that. And it's been really fun and I'm enjoying touring more and I'm excited for what I'm going to write next. And that's uh, taken me a lot to get there. And if anybody's listening that's going through it, then hopefully that, that can be thought provoking and lead to some sort of positive action in their lives.